Welcome to Tales of the Earth with me, David, and... Hi, Vladdy. With Vladdy. We're in Paris. It's 50 meters tall, 45 meters wide, and 22 meters deep. In order to get to the Ark, you have to walk through a passageway under the road because the road is so busy. It's 13 euros for adults. Under 18, it is in fact free. There are, Vladdy, 284 steps. With the tickets, you then have to queue again. One of the original plans was to build a statue of an elephant here. But that plan was stomped on, of course. So the 12 Paris avenues all meet at this point where the Arc de Triomphe is. So it might be called the center of Paris. And it is certainly a very imposing structure. This arch was built to honour the dead from two times of war, the Napoleonic Wars and, of course, the French Revolution, the eternal flame. And this has been burning here since the 11th of November 1923. Are you OK? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of people behind us. This is quite interesting, sort of arched, I don't know, gathering place, atrium, with some information here. Uh, people are looking at something in the middle here. Okay. It's, uh, it's actually a camera of the people below. But no, we're going up more steps. Hey, Vladdy. It's not too hard though, is it? No. Really? It's a piece of cake. That's a piece of cake. Yes. There's another English idiom. A piece of cake. It means something is very easy to do. And we can continue because we're definitely going up to the top, aren't we? We are tower hunters. More steps. Wow. So we're coming out onto the top. Welcome to Towers of the Earth. Looking above Paris. So, from the top of the Arc de Triomphe, we can see the 12 Paris avenues radiating outward around the city from the centre because here. The Arc de Triomphe really marks the center of the city. It is in fact on the largest plaza within Paris. Over there we can see Montmartre. It was the largest triumphal arch until 1982, in fact, when North Korea built a larger one, can you believe? So here on the top surface, there is a type of stand here which tells you what you can see in the distance. But yeah, you can see right down at the end of this avenue, the La Défense Arch there. Do you think that Parisians actually come here? Uh, it's only a place for tourists. Yeah, I would think so. Napoleon died before the arch was completed and so never saw what it looked like. But uh, his body was carried through it. Um, interesting fact, 
in 1919, a biplane was successfully flown through the arch. We we're now going down, so sort of day. The exit stairwell is different to the uh, up for entry stairwell, I mean, to this level anyway. And then you come back out here in that atrium I showed you earlier. Over the years, the Arc de Triomphe has undergone several restoration programs. Strangely enough, although it is something like 180 years old. To me, the Arc de Triomphe has a modern air about it. I don't know, it just doesn't seem like a very old structure. Out, and when we come out, we are back underneath the arch. So, Vladdy, score time, what do you think? 9 out of 10 for me. Yeah, I, it is 9 out of 10. It's a great place to visit. It has an excellent viewpoint from the centre of Paris, but for that reason it has to be a 9. The only reason I haven't given it 10 is because there are so many people there. But, pick your time, pick your day, and it might be better. So that's all from us on Towers of the Earth. We will see you soon on another video. Keep following. Goodbye. Goodbye.